You can tell I'm from the Pacific Northwest when I can't handle the heat. We need more than hopes and wishes for us to make it through the night. Stormy weather, weary eyes, hope to make it through the night. Hey. Okay, so welcome back. We are doing electrical part two, and in part two, I will be mounting my solar panels and setting up my charge controller to be added to the rest of my electrical system. I feel like it should be a, an easy day. She says behind her teeth. I picked up the Renogy 200 watt solar panel premium kit. I'm not sure if that was the order of the words, but that is what I have. And so what it came with was a 20 amp MPPT charge controller and two 100 watt solar panels, along with a bunch of other accessories to go along with it. I didn't feel like 200 watts was gonna be enough, so I actually went ahead and picked up a third solar panel. So I have a total of 300 watts of solar that will be added to my system. That's exciting, let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do to get this whole thing started is get on the roof and mount all three of my panels up there. And then we can get to the rest of it. Welcome to the drama cam. That's what this is right now because <laughs> it would not be a Sarah Van Build video if I didn't forget something. So my solar panel kit came with everything I need to get the job done, right? But it came with everything I need for two solar panels, not the third one that I got. I purchased everything back in November, Black Friday, and I didn't really unbox anything until recently. I didn't realize that the extra solar panel did not come with Z brackets. And these are the brackets that you need to attach to the solar panels in order to mount it to your roof. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do today. But I did order them on Amazon and it said that it would deliver tomorrow. Okay, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and business as usual, get this all ready, prepared, as if I only had two solar panels. And then I'm gonna make sure I leave enough space up there to attach the third solar panel tomorrow when I get those mounting brackets. Each solar panel is gonna come with four of these Z brackets and a set of bolts and washers. In the package, there's, there's two packages. These have smaller silver bolts with washers and then these have bronzy looking ones. These silver ones are what's gonna mount this to your solar panels. These bronzy ones are what you use to mount it onto whatever you wanna mount it on. Here's what the Z bracket looks like. On one side, it says Renogy. I'm not sure if you can say that. You're gonna want it to sit like this, so Renogy facing down and this long piece in one of these holes. So this is the annoying part. When you have it down like this on the solar panel, you put the bolt on top, and then from there you put a washer, then a spring washer, and then the nut from underneath. And it took me a solid three minutes to get this one in. Hopefully I got the hang of it and I can do this a little speedier, but it was not very convenient, but let's roll. I learned all of this from the Renogy Solar YouTube channel. They have some boring videos on there that is actually very helpful and useful for all of this stuff. So everything is loosely secure because I only use my hand and now I'm going to take a wrench and make it all snuggy and tight. Okay. Ooh, up close and personal. I think I know what I'm gonna do next. I know I've been complaining a lot about how it's been raining like every single weekend, but this is their first sunny weekend and it just, Oregon just went all out. We went from rainy and gloomy to freaking 87, 90 degrees. <laughs> It's really hot out here and the top of my van is incredibly spicy so I need to go up there and clean it because it's super dirty and I'll probably put Toby's dog bed up there while I work to get the solar panels out. Okay, it's already all clean up there. I just gotta wait for it to dry but to be honest it's probably not gonna take that much time at all. I'm gonna get ready with all my things to put up there and start mounting two of my solar panels. I'm actually just gonna test it first so I'm gonna get my charge controller all set up and then I'm gonna bring my solar panels over here. So 
the solar kit came with all the wires that I need, including these two cable wires. One of the cable wires I went ahead and attached to the negative battery terminal of the charge controller. And then I also took that cable and threw it onto the bus bar. And now working on the cable wire from the positive terminal. And this is what's gonna happen. The kit also came with this fuse. So we're gonna put the positive cable, find it, there's so many wires here. We're gonna take this guy and throw it in here. The kit also came with this wire, this positive wire, and this is going to go from that fuse to my mega fuse holder. I picked up a 60 amp fuse. I'm going to throw it onto my bus bar as well. So we're going to double up on the fuse here. Now it's connected. I should be able to turn this on and the charge controller should turn on as well. So let's let's see what we're working with. It turned on. Sweet. Now I'm gonna put my solar panels together and see if it charges my battery. Now let's get our solar panels. To keep myself organized and to make sure I don't go totally crazy, I'm labeling each solar panel by a number. This is one, that's gonna be two, this is three, and it's really important to have that label because each one has a very special part to play. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so putting my solar panels together, I'm gonna connect them in series. So the first solar panel is gonna have its negative wire connected to the second panel's positive wire. Then the second panel's negative wire is gonna connect to the third panel's positive wire. Then the negative wire of my third panel is gonna find its way to the charge controller. And then the positive wire from my first panel is gonna find its way also to the charge controller. All right, so the kit also came with these two basically extension cables so that you're able to connect your solar panels all the way down to your charge controller, wherever that might be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The positive panel comes with this fuse or this inline fuse, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach that as well. This right here is the positive wire. It's labeled positive, and the negative wire looks like this one. I didn't wanna <laughs> detach it, but it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the positive from solar panel three to this via this. Then I'm gonna connect the negative from solar panel one to this. I hate how many wires are around here. Do you see, is it? Well, there's power definitely going through it. Oh, okay, I got it right. Positive. Okay, that's in there. What does that warning sign mean? Oh, it's charging, <laughs> it's charging. So I got it done right, sweet. Now we know our plan of attack. Let's start marching. We need more than hopes and wishes for us to make it through the night. Okay, your turn. Stormy weather, weary eyes, hope to make it through the night. Before this night is over, I will guide you home. Yo, you good? <laughs> You overheated up there, so I can't take you up there because my camera keeps overheating on the roof, which makes sense. It's really, it's really hot up there. I'm already burning. <laughs> I have both my solar panels up and I drilled two holes for the wires to come down. Do not mount them, secure them in any way. I'm gonna wait until I get my mounting brackets for my third solar panel. So they should be safe up there. It's not gonna be super windy or anything. Although I'm a little worried about it. Sounds like a stupid thing to do, huh? Now I just need to find a home for my charge controller, mount it, connect it to the system, and my solar, other than that one solar panel, it'll be done. You can tell I'm from the Pacific Northwest when I can't handle the heat. I can't handle it. I can't find my sunglasses either, so we're wearing this. This place is a mess. Dude, I'm a total mess. I'm not a clean person. I will, I will admit it. I have, Nothing to hide. So where's the where are those mounting brackets? Come over here. 
You can hang out with me. Okay, I found my mount mounting brackets. It's the next day, and what's so exciting about today is that the mounting brackets that I ordered yesterday, because I didn't have enough, it arrived first thing this morning. That's the second time, second weekend in a row, where I was missing some product, had to order it, and it arrived the next day. And not just the next day in the evening, like Amazon usually does when it says next day, it was the morning, so I can get to work. So the universe is listening to my cries, and they're, it's tired of it. Okay, so here's how my panels are being set up. Where I'm s kneeling right now is where my third panel will be, but before I get it up here, I'm gonna screw these guys down. I ended up poking two holes. Ugh, two holes, let me see. Underneath for both of my connections, and I have the entry gland to cover it, and all I have to do is seal everything up. I am gonna go ahead and get my tools and start putting everything together, I guess. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so this is what I'm packing to bring up there. And I'm sorry, you can't come with me. You keep passing out. All right, so I'm bringing my drill, uh, not using this bit, but I'm bringing my impact drill to create pilot holes and to screw in the bolts. However, I don't know if I have a bit for the bolts. And then I'm also bringing some 3M double-sided mounting tape. Oh, Ooh, it's already sticky in there. I'm gonna use this tape to quadruple secure it up on the roof. And I'm also gonna use this for that entry gland. And then I'm also bringing some Sikaflex for additional adhesive. We should be super solid, incredibly solid, mega solid. Okay, so we're back in business. I went to Ace Hardware and picked up this guy. It is a one and seven eighth inch impact magnet nut driver, and it fits my bolts that I have. So if there's anything you're gonna learn from this video thus far is anything that I've had to run to the store and pick up because I didn't have, write that down. Put that on your supply list and make sure you have all of those things before you get started on your solar panels. I need to take this off. It's uh, quite the toast factory out here. Toby, are you tangled again? Okay, snuck you up here. Let's see how long you last before you pass out. <laughs> oh, everything's so hot. Okay, so you guys do not last long up there at all. My camera probably stayed on for a total of five minutes before it completely overheated and shut down. So what I was able to accomplish up there was everything. 90, it's 95% done. So all of my solar panels are mounted into my roof. I do not have a roof rack, so I had to do it directly onto my, uh, my van. You can see it right here. I bolted them down. I put Sikaflex on all of the mounting pieces, the bolts, everything. The last thing I need to do is secure my entry gland up there. I want to bring you up there, but you're not going to last long, so just take my word for it. And then once I get my entry gland in, that'll be like 98% done. The 2%, I want to put lap sealant or Sikaflex on the bolts from the inside as well, just to extra seal it from moisture. This whole place is a total disaster. Between me rummaging through everything I have to try and find the things that I need, and just, well that's mainly it, but this place is a disaster. My charge controller, mounted, ready to go. These cable, I showed you already earlier in the video, but these cables are already connected. This one is connected to the negative bus bar. This one is connected through the 20 amp fuse and then to the positive bus bar with a 60 amp fuse. So I'm gonna go put these first. There is a very specific order that you want to connect the, your charge controller in. I read it in their manual, I read it online, and I've seen it on multiple YouTube videos that I've watched of people putting this together, but it's incredibly important that you connect the batteries first before you do the, the solar. This is because if you put the solar in first, I mean it's already going, right? The solar requires sun and it's already doing its job, but right now it has nowhere to go. And so if it goes directly into my charge controller without any other direction, it could completely destroy this, and we don't want that. We Yeah, we don't, we don't want that kind of mess. Wait, where's my screwdriver? A little tug check. So there's labels in there that say PV1 and PV, or sorry, PV negative and PV plus. That's where these go. That sparked. Did not like that at all. So right now you can see that 0, 0.0 and there's like this little warning sign. Everything's connected with the solar panel, that's good, but that just means that my battery isn't flowing. So we're gonna turn this on. Now look at it. 
It's not charging, is he? There we go, now it's charging. One last thing before we totally conclude the rest of the solar build video. After you set everything up, don't forget to program your charge controller. I almost walked away, but then I remembered I had to do that. So this is how you do it. Mine's already programmed correctly, but I'm gonna show you how I got there. If you hit the arrow button, here's some other options here. If you look at the charge controller manual, all of these will have an explanation. But I'm gonna show you where to change your battery. So right here, once you get to just the battery and where it shows the voltage, this is how you hit enter. You just hold that down. And then when it starts flashing, you'll see right here, I have it set to lithium. It was originally set to something else, but that's how you can switch it. Just go up and down and find the right one. And if you hit it again, it'll take you over here to what voltage. You can change it to 12, 24, or 12, hit enter, and you programmed it. So I'm gonna take it back to the top. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video right here. This is super exciting to see that not only is my battery ready for all the loads that will come its way, now it's able to charge up via my solar panels and I don't have to spend any more time on the roof, hopefully. I'm, I'm done being up there. Everything that I need to be mounted up there is mounted. You won't see me up there anymore. And I think I might be done poking holes in my vehicle. No, I'm not, I forgot. I'm getting a nature's head composting toilet and you have to poke a hole in the bottom of your van for ventilation, so never mind about that, but that'll be the last one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if this video was any helpful to you at all or if you were just interested in seeing how it all is turning out. And I'm okay with that too because I am just as curious to see how this all turns out. Okay, gonna go now. Have a good day.